yesterday, a traffic stop in Billerica ended with a police officer in the hospital. Investigators say the suspect exposed her to fentanyl. Mm. A short time later, that officer lost consciousness. Good evening. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Paula Evans. And I'm David Wade. Chris is off tonight. That officer is now back at home recovering, thankfully. But as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, police say this is just one example of the dangers they face every day. The intersection of Handel and Bonnie is the spot a Bilbrica officer will not soon forget. The officer stopped the, the vehicle for having canceled plates. The flashing lights came on, the car pulled over. Inside was 65-year-old Charles Lang. The officer believed he was trying to destroy evidence. The officer immediately tro told the person to stop, um, to uh, comply, they weren't. In his hand was a bag filled with a powdered substance. And later did test positive as fentanyl. Quickly, the two began to struggle for the bag. This product was, was clearly airborne when this officer was attempting to put the person into custody. They had ripped a bag open and were, were resisting arrest. As the powder floated through the air, it covered Lang's hands as well as part of the cruiser. Lang was taken to BPD no more than 10 minutes later. Upon walking into the apartment, it was clear she was in some sort of distress. The officer passed out and began to vomit. She's fallen right here on the ground. Okay. And uh, so if we walk in here, you can see this is the area where she was. At the time, officers didn't know what was in the powder. We suspected it was some sort of heroin mixture, fentanyl mixture. Thankfully, Bill Ricca EMS is in their building. And how far away is that medical team from this location? It sounds like it's close. Yeah, it's, it's 25 feet down, uh, 50 feet down the hallway here on the left. Advanced medical treatment available to us within seconds. The officer will be okay, but Chief Roy Frost remains in awe. I've been doing this for 25 years. She was healthy, and then she wasn't. As of now, Bill Ricca police do not carry Narcan, but their EMS teams do. Fentanyl in and of itself, just touching your skin, your skin's a natural barrier, you will not overdose on it. It needs a place to enter. Whether it's through, you know, your mouth, which is a mucous membrane, whether it's through your eyes. In response, Bill Ricca PD is making a change. So I have subsequently put Narcan in my booking area. Just in case this scenario happens again. In Bill Ricca, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.